Hi, my name is Maria Penner and I've been with the British Council for one year. Uh, I'm going to talk about pronunciation. Focusing on the pronunciation in English, we often talk about sounds and we forget about other important features such as stress. Not the stress you experience when you're late for a meeting, but the word stress, such as nice to meet you or hello. Using stress efficiently can help you to be better understood or avoid embarrassing mistakes and ambiguity. We are all aware of word stress and how shifting it can affect the meaning of the word. For example, to present and a present or to object and an object. But we can also use sentence stress to get our message across efficiently and quickly. Um, if I say, uh, I asked him to buy 11 red roses, what exactly am I trying to say? That he didn't buy them or he bought the wrong ones? Well, if I use sentence stress and I make the keyword sound longer, then you can easily understand what I'm talking about. Like, I asked him to buy 11 red roses, not three. Or, I asked him to buy 11 red roses, uh, not her or her friend or his friend. Or, I asked him to buy 11 red roses, not yellow ones. So, if you want to use sentence stress efficiently, it's a good idea to watch the news or listen to the news and TV in English and try to copy the stress or just make a mental note of how speakers use the stress. Thank you.